Hey guys and welcome to a brand new series. So today we are finally starting the Sims 4 Black Widow Challenge. This has been a series that I've been wanting to do for literally three years, but I've had other challenges that I've been working on that have lasted me. Like I had my 100 Vampire Baby Challenge and the Not So Berry, which is still going on, but since I have kind of space for another series, I decided to go ahead and kind of fit in a more chill, relaxed series where I'm not necessarily stressing out about it. So we are doing this. So I'm so excited to finally be able to play this. It's kind of like right up my alley and I've had quite a bit of you guys also suggest this challenge for me. So we are here today with Miss Jocelyn Hope Collier. This is her. She is going to be our Black Widow. She is going to be getting into a lot with uh, the men and trying to steal their money. So basically, I'm going to go over the rules in just a second, kind of explain to you everything that has to be done for those of you who haven't either played this challenge or watched it or anything of the sort. So we are currently living in an apartment. I was going to have her move into a house, but I decided to go against that and live in an apartment because I feel like it's easier. And I already had an apartment built. I just really love this apartment, which I'll give you guys a tour in just a second. But I built this apartment probably over a year ago or so. So yeah, we're just watching her cook right now. But oh my god, she is so stunning, guys. Like, I gave her three outfits and stuff, but this is her first one. Before we go into the rules and everything, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour of her apartment. She's currently listening to some music, but her neighbor is actually Penny Pizzazz. I don't know who the other neighbor is, but we're living in the Culper. I think this is the Culper Apartments, but there's Penny over there. So another thing I want to point out is we are playing in Simlissy save file. So I'll have that link down in the description. Oh shoot, I didn't even realize how low the lights are. Girl, you're gonna smack your head into that. Okay, well, um, probably not the best idea. But we have our living room here. I do have a speed build on this. If you guys are interested, I might like link that down in the description. Oh, I needed, a, I forgot to fix the walls because those are if you upload the apartment. Anyways, so this is the kitchen, as you guys saw, very simple, her little like study area. Then we have the dining room. Uh, this is the bathroom, very simple, once again, nothing too crazy. And then when we dive over here, again, I need to fix this. <laughs> so we have that. Um, her bedroom, oh, she doesn't have that much money. Uh, she's not currently working, which is why I'm thinking maybe we'll look for a roommate. Uh, because I haven't really played with the roommate feature other than in Discover University. So there's also that. But I'd love to, oh, there she is. Moving and grooving, sis. Okay. Apartments are a little glitchy and she's super, super bright. So I'm probably going to turn the lights down a little bit and figure out the situation with this one specifically. But we have our neighbor. He doesn't seem to be too happy with this named Zachary Hart. So we have Alexandria Matthews. Uh, who else is this? Jordan Curtis. And of course, Penny Pizzazz, who is a proper celebrity in fact so maybe it'll be best for us to befriend miss uh, penny pizzazz to get some money i don't know perhaps but i guess we can't really interact with her fully because she is a celebrity that's the only thing i hate about the celebrity thing is oh my god she's like eyeing her <laughs> she's like i need to speak to you oh what the did, oh did i ask for a hug i think that's what i did hold on let me go ahead and uh set the intensity of these lights just a little lower so they're not too crazy Okay, her shirt is still, she's still bright as heck in here. But before we completely get it too crazy settled in, I want to go ahead and read up on the rules so that we can kind of get a gist of what we have in store for this series altogether. So I found the rules over on the Sims forum. So essentially, uh, if you guys are interested in knowing more in depth on this, I'll leave the link to it down in the description. But basically, we need to essentially have a materialistic, snob, romantic Sim who ha has a serial romantic aspiration. Uh, obviously, the whole plan is to get married, have a dinner party to show that we're the perfect wife. And then it says, after the party, find a new romantic interest and move them in. So you gotta move kind of quick 
uh, and we have to get caught cheating. So this shall be really interesting and I'm so excited. So then we have to kill off the husband, marry again, and then also inscribe the tombstone with their name, uh, as well as say that they died by the Black Widow. Repeat this over again until you have 10 graves or more. There is also this thing with options that says you can choose to move into your husband's house and keep all the tombstones. You maybe want to build an urn room, um, and then there's also don't move into your husband's houses, but I think I'm going to end up moving into them, and I'll just take the tombstones with me and, like, move them around or whatever. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. So, again, not really any cheats allowed. Uh, so having kids is your own choice, but you can earn extra points by having them. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping track of points because knowing me and my memory it's not going to work out so there's that so the black widow cannot have jobs the money has to be earned by the men that she targets and she's only allowed to earn money from selecting selling collectibles that she finds but this is only before she's married she can only marry single men and then there's something about like if you want to marry a married man then you have to like delete the, uh, everybody from their household but what i might end up doing is if they are married i might just kill the wife or something like that i don't know i haven't decided you can't repair items only the replacements of broken items are allowed and then we have to also max out cooking and max out charisma skill the challenge is complete on normal difficulty level when the black widow dies and you max out the charisma skill and max out the cooking skill so here's the whole scoring thing i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna follow this honestly but yeah, that's pretty much that for the rules. I think we can go ahead and just get started. I just, it's always weird trying to like start off a brand new series because I don't do this that often, I feel. I mean, it is kind of often when the new expansion pack happens and stuff, but I don't want it to be like messy. She's just taking a selfie with Miss Penny Pizzazz. It's so funny that she's actually famous here. We do have skills that we need to work on. It's not like anything too crazy though. I think what we will try and do is see how we can go about getting a roommate. Um, I'd love to be able to get one just so that they can uh, help us pay the bills and stuff. I think that's what it's gonna work as. Uh, so let me see how I can go about this. I don't actually really know. Household. Oh, there we go. Place advertisement for roommates. There we go. We got to go ahead and have her do just that. And maybe today will be the day that we also find our first victim. She's like, I'm the life of the party. She, she's like, girl, stop. Please just stop. <laughs> Miss Jocelyn here is just ready to take on a whole new venture in uh, getting married and trying to get rich off of men so we we must do that okay penny can we please just um focus on me you're this is a housewarming party all about us it's not all about you girl come on what's going on oh there's a festival going on what is it maybe we can find our potential next man there by next man i mean our first man because i don't know who to go for I kind of want to go for the basic and go for Mortar, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to kill off Bella Goth right off the bat, you know? I mean, she's quite a legend, so do I really want to kill her off right away? Mm, not really. All right. Oh, we do have a computer over here that we might be able to use instead. Try and see if we can do that. Okay, why wouldn't let me use any computers? Girl, are you okay? There we go. I have to actually physically sit her down. Don't know why that is the case, but apparently... There's a child. Oh my gosh, she stole my name. Jocelyn. <laughs> my name is Jocelyn. Imagine. An advertisement has been placed for a new roommate. Fingers crossed for perfect roommates only. So I wonder if to check this to see if somebody that answers to our roommate post or something like that. I don't know how this works. I've never done it before. So yeah, at least we're kind of making friends, but I low-key want to cancel this so that I can go to the festival. I want to see which festival is in town, actually. So, as a serial romantic, we have to actually have a boyfriend or girlfriend, and we also have to go on two dates. So, this shall be interesting. Okay, can we not read about the festival? Ma'am, I would like to know what is going on. If not, I'm gonna have to figure out it my own. It doesn't look like there's a festival going on here, so there might be one going over either in the spice market i don't want to cancel this because then i want to have like bad blood with my neighbors that's the last thing i want because they're going to be really loud and annoying all the time and that's not what we want so let's go ahead and just leave an affirming note uh, to make my neighbors happy oh my gosh she got an autograph should we get an autograph from our neighbor we might as well right i wonder if she'll give us one no 
She's that much of a big shot that she won't even take a picture with me. Come on, Penny. Girl, please. Oh, now she's sad because of it. Penny, that's like so rude and disrespectful. How dare you? Look at you've made our girl Jocelyn sad. Oh, she even has tears in her eyes. You should be ashamed of yourself. How are we gonna go hunting for our man when we're this sad? So they're leaving now, thank God. We might actually go out and see what festival's around and then maybe we can grab some food over there. All right, so it doesn't look like we have any sort of festival going on here. Is it weird that I like the sound of farting? Sir, that is truly disgusting that you would text me that. Who even is Stuart? Do I even know a Stuart? Who are you? That is just... Look, she even got a negative reaction from that. Boy, bye. Like, oh my... Disgusting. All right, well, there isn't a festival going on here. But what we can do is actually go ahead and grab a poster here. And a snow globe. Uh, but I do, however, want to see if we can find the actual festival that's going on. Uh, the only other one would probably be the humor and hijinks. But I don't know if that's actually going on at the moment. Wait, has there always been a car here? I just noticed it. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, but go ahead and grab this poster and the snow globe. And oh, look who it is. It's our boy Akira. Oh my God, wake him up. I love Akira. He's a cutie. So we might as well go ahead and, I don't know, maybe give it a shot. Are you rich in this game? Because if you are, I am definitely looking into possibly getting with you. Not that we're in it for the money, but if you've got a big wallet, I mean, we ain't gonna be mad about it. Just saying. I know you don't know me, but if you don't meet me right now, I'll be disappointed in you. Who the heck are you? Do we go? I'm sorry, Akira, but I'm really interested to see what's up with this because what if he's gonna like kidnap me or something or murder me? But you know what? Let, let's go <laughs> and check it out. Imagine. No, wait. Maybe I shouldn't have answered. What's gonna go down? All right, so we are at someone's place. I honestly don't know who this man is, but you're not actually bad looking. So I mean, oh, it literally does say we're strangers. So like, why don't we just go out with a stranger? I don't know. But this lot, oh my gosh, is stunning. <gasps> wow, okay. Um, Where did he go? Sir? Oh, we're right here. Why is he angry? Like, you just invited me out. I'm a pretty girl. Like, let's let's talk. If you got some money. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Who is this? Miss Susan Monroe. Wait, why is this, like, everything? Do you work here or something? Hold on. You might have a rich husband. <laughs> I, I want to know. You got a rich man? Is this a picture of him? Wait, this is actually a picture of her. Hold on. Wait, who are you? Wait, she's kind of iconic. Um, ma'am? I would like to know. Are you married? Is there, Do I have a question? Ask about Susan's income. I mean, we could just go for Susan straight up. Maybe forget about the husband. I mean, you can marry whoever you want. It's not like you have to marry a man. So, I mean, multiply anything you have now by zero and that's my income. Girl. Wow, she thinks she's funny now. I want to become friends with you because you seem very interesting to me. So, let's become friends with Miss Susan. What do you think, Jocelyn? You think she's the one for us? Can we steal her money? Become rich? I wonder how rich we can get from this. That's what I'm interested to know. Can I get rich rich from this? Or not? Is this even... Is this someone's actual house? Or is this like a public lot? Am I in her house? Wait. Hold on. This man really invited me into her house. Hold on. He does I don't even think he lives here unless he's married to her. <gasps> Why are we being devious? No. Oh, Susan is mean. <gasps> Maybe we could be best friends or something. Or I could steal her husband. Is she married? Well, she has she might she's at least engaged. So I need to figure out more info on her. Who's this? Who's this? Do you live here? This is Jacob Porter. Oh, this is probably her son. Okay. Hello, sir. I'm looking for your father. We might come back here again, Susan. Just saying. We might end up... Oh, shoot. She has a daughter. 
What's her name? She has Brittany Porter. Maybe the husband's working late. He must have like a really good job or something like a lawyer or something of the sort. We're gonna go ahead home. I don't even know where the dude that invited us even is. Like, we're gonna just cancel this and stop being mean to Susan because girl, we, we might need these connections. Do not ruin this for us. I'm just saying. If you want to make bank, honey, you can't just start being mean. Oh wait, there's a basement? Oh shoot, what's going down here? Why is this so like realistic, like the setup of this house? Like, oh my gosh, I love it. Honey, we literally have chairs. So if you could sit down, that'd be lovely. That's why they're there. You can look out the beautiful view of the city. Oh, she's so pretty. Guys, I literally spent three hours like making her and like figuring out her outfits and everything. Oh, look, she's get. that's how tired she is. <laughs> All right, go to bed, girl. Oh, what? Tyree's inviting us. He's having a party. I mean, let's go. Maybe there's some cute boys there or something. I was gonna say that it mentioned in the rules about having kids and stuff. And I think that I'm not gonna force for kids at any point. I think what will happen is if they happen to woohoo, since I have Risky Woohoo on with MC Command Center, then they'll just accidentally have a baby so i guess in a way there is mods involved but i'm not gonna like hinder myself from enjoying gameplay and by like not using mods and stuff so if mods happen to play in then i'm okay with it i probably will end up fidgeting with the rules maybe i don't know what the you are joking me this is what i dressed up for for the seasonal party tyree are you kidding me we're a freaking hot dog I, is this some sort of joke? You have to be joking. Like you, this is a prank. I mean, actually you're probably in on the prank considering you're literally wearing it too. But I guess since we are here, we might as well eat, uh, make a hot dog in your hot dog costume. Uh, definitely, wait, is she making hot dogs? She's grilling a hamburger. Girl, you can't do that. You can't make hamburgers when you're wearing a hot dog costume. Let's go make them hot dogs. Oh my gosh. I just want to sing the hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog <laughs> song. Now, this is a sight to see. A hot dog making hot dogs. Am I right, y'all? Truthfully, did not think I would be expecting this at all to come out of this seasonal event party. And also it's raining, so it's not necessarily ideal either. Is this Penny? Oh my god, it's Katrina! Hi, Katrina. Who's this? Ooh, Ted Roswell. You might be rich, actually, over in uh, our lovely place of Strangerville. So we might go ahead and say hi to everybody here. Uh, and this is Santa Claus. Hi, Santa. Who else do we have here? We have Clara. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is really interesting. Look at all the people that showed up. Here. Holy crap, that's a lot of hot dogs. Who's this? <gasps> Ju- Hold on. This is the one, the only Judith Ward. But here she's called Judith uh, Kalani. <gasps> Did she? Wait, is Makoa's last name Kalani? No. Who are you married to? Mitchell Kalani. Oh, oh, she married Mitchell? I did not see that come in. But Judith Ford, an icon. I cannot believe that we are here with her. All right, who else is here? We've got Lorenzo Garcia. Don't know you. I want to see if there's anybody that we do. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Steven Porter? Now, let's see. Is his wife Susan? Uh, oh, he's not married. Oh, maybe they had a divorce? Oh my gosh, who are your children? <gasps> Hold on. They're not married. Unless she remarried. I want to know what the tea is here. The, maybe I don't even go after him. And I have to go after Miss... Uh, what's it called? Miss Susan. Unless she's engaged to somebody. Okay, she's not. so she's not married to anybody. She might be engaged to somebody. I mean, she has an engagement ring. But unless Steven does live there... Hold on, let me see. Where does Steven live? He lives at 1700 Sage Avenue in Susan. Oh, wait. Unless they are... Hold on. Doesn't matter. They might... Maybe they're engaged. Maybe that's what's going on. I got your number to person tell you that you suck. Uh, 
Who is this man? Why does he keep coming for me? Dude, I like am trying to live my life and you're just attacking me. I do not appreciate it. I, I don't know how to feel. All right, well, anyways, I want to go ahead and meet all these people. I do also want to try and get a picture or at least an autograph from Miss Judith Ward because she's an icon, okay? So we're going to try and do that. We didn't even eat the hot dogs. Hello, everybody. Where are the hot dogs at? Oh, there they are. Go ahead and grab a serving. There's too many people here. I just... Look at all the dogs. Hello. Oh, my God. It's Crystal and... Rose. Imagine if their name was Bonnie, like circle back to our <laughs> Discovery University series slash Get Famous series. You can sit on that? Wait, that's kind of cool actually. Oh, wait, Judith's here. Judith, you've gotten away from the craziness. Why are you attacking me? Katrina. Excuse All right, well, let's back away from her. She is not liking Katrina at all. I was hoping to, you know, uh, get together with Akira, but this turned out to be a little bit more interesting. <laughs> I want to just get one autograph. Can we please just get the autograph? Forget about your hot dog. Okay, Santa, you need to step back. Oh my god, I'm finally talking to Judith. Come on. Well, almost about to. Oh, just give me an autograph, please. Yes! Give me an autograph. That's all I want iconic thank you ma'am oh now we can go hang it up on our wall anyways she it has to go to the bathroom so go ahead and use that that'll be that i think what would be an awesome goal is to try and marry a celebrity because it is hard to get in a relationship with them now do i want the struggle of that you know maybe i do maybe i really do so i think what we will end up doing is going after steven because i mean why not? And clearly Susan has something against us anyways, Consider, Since when can you see the Sims go in the bathroom? What the heck? Anyways, we're gonna go home. Um, we're, we're calling it over for the party. Is she going to the bathroom to play a game? Honey, what kind of games are you playing in the bathroom with your cell phone? I don't know. I think what we'll end up doing is calling up steven next episode and trying to get that all situated i think meeting sims right now is probably the top priority so that we have you know a list of sims that we can hang out with get to know and all that as well and seek out victims by victims i mean you know they're gonna be end up being murdered by us so yeah i guess victims is the right term here so friends we have returned in our beautiful beautiful outfit honestly I should have just dressed her like this. Why spend three hours when I could have just smacked a hot dog costume on her and she would have called it a day? But, um, I think... I think this is where I'm gonna end today's episode. Again, I do want to kind of take a different approach when it comes to this series and not necessarily be super stressed out and like record an hour and a half of footage and then having to cut it down. I want it to be a little bit more relaxed and kind of just going with the flow a little bit more. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for this. Again, next episode, we're gonna try and get our first man, hopefully a new roommate. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are excited for this series. I've been dying to do this, no pun intended, because there's gonna be a lot of death <laughs> happening but yeah that is pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching but if you guys did enjoy it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so i know you guys liked it and if you haven't subscribed already definitely go ahead and do so and i'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon bye guys